was about to cut the ratchet wheel, I uh, could have used something like this. Uh, this is a fly cutter I've used on another ratchet wheel. Uh, but I could have used something like that, but instead I'm going to go for a 60 degree dovetail cutter. Uh, a lot sharper. Uh, I've got this, I've never used it, so I might as well put it to action now. And uh, to get the undercut, it actually tells you in the book how high to lift it to get a 5 degree undercut. So I'm not going to put it central, but I'll talk about more about that when I get on to it. I just wanted to show you this way that I've uh, I set the cutter height now. I used to do it by measuring, purely by measuring, um, and although that should be super accurate, uh, I just find this method far, far better. So you obviously you've got to get it to some sort of height, um, and what you do is you, you, you use the cutter by turning it against the wheel just with your hand and then moving the, the wheel away, just to scribe a line on, on the wheel. You've got to obviously get it near to centre height, but then to check its centre height, we're going, to, we're going to spin this wheel now 180 degrees, and then we're going to check and scribe another line, and the two lines should match. So on the next uh, clip that you see, I'm going to have spun the wheel through 180 degrees, and I'm going to move the cutter from this side to the other side. So it's just come around to the other side. I appreciate the position of the video doesn't look perfect. When I scribe a line now, that's going to match the exact same place and therefore we know that we've got perfect centre height. Even though I've found centre height, we've actually moved the cutter height up uh, 0.13 inch um, and that is going to give it that undercut so that we get a positive um, lock with the click on the ratchet wheel. The moment of truth. Okay, so that's the ratchet wheel all finished off now. Um, I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out and the dovetail cutter certainly did a good job. Uh, you can see the undercut there um, from 90 degrees which looks nice. Yeah, and I'm pleased with how that's turned out. So we'll just mock it up on the barrel and then that'll be uh, moving on to the next part. Okay, so that's the final uh, ratchet wheel and main wheel sat on the barrel and barrel arbor. Obviously I need to screw this all up, uh, but it's looking good so far. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.